So rich people from the Middle East are buying massive amount of land from Africa. And Africans are watching. I know a lot of people are not informed. Mainstream media don't talk about it. And when they talk about it, they give it nice names. And people don't understand. Rich people from the Middle East are buying massive amount of land. Let me give you a simple example. There's this man named Sheikh Hamed Dalmut Al Maktouk. I know I murdered his name. In fact, his name is Highness Sheikh Hamed Dalmut Al Maktoum. He is part of the royal family in Dubai. Very, very rich person. He's buying a tremendous amount of land in Africa. What is the goal for that? The goal is very simple. They want to keep the forest alive and plant more trees in Africa. Why do they need to do this? There is a project named Blue Carbon. Blue Carbon is a project which goal is to combat global warming, right? So the countries that emit the most carbon dioxide are the countries that need to provide as much help as possible to keep the global, to keep the world cool. Okay, let's get back to track. You all heard the story about the world getting warmer, right? And apparently global warming, we're not experts, but it's the fact that today you can see ice melting from the pole, water rising, earthquakes, um, forest burning, uh, tornadoes, tsunamis, and many other things. And as per experts, they believe this is a result of global warming. Now, what is global warming? Global warming, as per expert, is the result of the emission of carbon dioxide. What is carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide is gas. Where does the gas come from? The gas come from big industries, big companies, you know. In other words, the industry has created a situation where a lot of smoke go up in the air, a lot of gas, you know, by creating cars, is smoke coming out of the company. By creating machines, the smoke comes out of the companies. By driving cars down the road, smoke come up in the air. By farming, by working the land, basically developments today create a lot of gas and the gas goes up in the air and destroy the protective layer which creates global warming. And global warming is the reason why we see tsunamis, fire, forest burning, water rising, ice melting in Antarctica. The problem here is this one. There are specific countries that emit the most gas in the world. We can agree to that. Those are developing and developed countries. Okay? Those are the big emitters of gas. Those are the people that are responsible for the gas. We can say they are responsible for the global warming. The reality is Africa is only responsible of 4% of the emission of gas because Africa is not industrialized, not like Europe and America. Africa doesn't necessarily have big factories and big productions and all that smoke and all that stuff. Matter of fact, Africa owns one of the biggest forests in the world, in the Congo. The Congo forest is second biggest to Amazon. And why is the forest important? The forest is important because, because forests reverse the effect of industrialization. The forest absorbs the gas of the air. The carbon dioxide is absorbed by the forest. And, and by the forest absorbing it, this annihilates completely or almost completely the effect of global warming. Now, this is what they're tricking us to do. Countries that are producing the most gas under the new rule they have created can now buy land in Africa or somewhere else where they are forced on those lands and protect those lands. And if you do so, you then allowed to emit gas. Do you understand? So because you're doing something that's destructive to the environment, you cannot do something positive somewhere else. Use your money and then you're allowed to do this. You know what I mean? So instead of them reducing the gas production, instead of them running away from fossil fuel, which is coal, gas, and petroleum, oil, they are indeed, so by buying land in Africa and protecting the forest, they get what they call carbon credit. So it's like a credit. They give you credit to emit gas because you protected the forest somewhere. Instead of saying, no, don't produce as much gas anymore. Don't do as much damage to the earth. They say, okay, now you can do damage, but just protect or buy some land in Africa where they can produce and you can plant more trees and continue doing that. 
Now, the danger to this is this, number one. Number one, the danger is you, you're not finding a solution to this problem because people are still producing as much gas as possible. Number two, by buying land, what's going to happen to the people that own the land? The indigenous people that live in those forests, they've not been consulted. In fact, under the proposal, some 20 million hectares of land in Zambia, Tanzania, Liberia, and Zimbabwe will be leased out. Existing forests will be allegedly preserved, while some land will be used for planting more trees to help absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So they're going to take 10% of Zambia, 10% of the land in Tanzania, 10% of the land in Liberia, and 20% of the land in Zimbabwe will be used, so will be bought or leased by these international companies, for most cases from the Middle East, in the hopes of planting more trees in those forests, the forest will help them absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere so they can continue to pollute. Now, if this doesn't ring bells in your head, I'm sorry, fella. I don't, I don't know what to say to you. Why would you allow somebody from another continent to come into your continent and buy 10% of your country? How does that even function? I, I don't understand. This is crazy. 20% of Zimbabwe will go into this situation. Incredible. And in Liberia, the, there is already a court call, you know, an accusation at court saying they have not consulted with the locals. They have not consulted with the indigenous from the forest for them to take that liberty of giving the land away. So they're giving the land for millions. <laughs> Fella, this is crazy. Africans need to wake up. I mean, what if these places become different countries? I mean, you can imagine, you can, you can just begin to imagine. The country that sells away 10% or lease 10% of its land has no jurisdiction over that land. So you have no power. Your constitution doesn't stand. You have no authority over anything that happens in that part of the land. That's what's happening right now, fellas, in Africa. And people are watching. They are not talking about it on mainstream media. They're not making a lot of noise about it. But it is happening. Let me get back on track. They say the world is getting warmer because people are emitting more gas. Who are emitting more gas? Rich countries. How are they emitting more gas? By creating cars, building airplanes, making chips, making stupid things and toys and all that stuff and dildos and all you name it. Yes, that's how they're making gas. Africa has only emitted 4% of the gas that you know. The only 4% of damage is done by Africa. But instead of them cutting off their gas, number one, they don't want Africa to produce anything, gas lack. Number two, they want to buy land in Africa. Saying because we're buying land in Africa and protecting this forest, because these Africans are not so clever, they cannot keep forest. They're going to chop the forest. So let's just prevent them from cutting the forest by buying the forest. So we can send our army, obviously, they're going to have the securities and stuff to protect the forest it's not under the jurisdiction of the country anymore let's just buy the lands buy the forest plant more trees so we can continue to destroy we can continue emitting gas but because we're doing some work here we have credit to do it so now fellas i'm not gonna get into the credit it's too complicated it's actually not complicated they're trying to complicate make us look stupid it's basically i'm planting trees because i'm planting trees i have tokens to do damage to the world but you guys don't do anything because you have no money Instead of saying, I should stop doing the damage to the world, they're saying, no, you can continue doing damage, but just give us money, you can take the land. If Africans don't wake up, I have no idea. You know, US people can block your government from selling land. If you stand in the street, hundreds of you, thousands of you, ten thousands, hundred thousands, do you think they're going to shoot you all? No, they won't. Okay, they're just human beings like yourselves. Let's not, fellas, lose Africa this way. The DRC alone has got the second biggest forest in the world that does good for the climate. Africans have only polluted 4%. We haven't done anything. We've got nothing. They're even trying to stop Uganda from doing oil production because of global warming. But Uganda has done nothing. These All these countries have become very rich through production. After they become rich, they say Africa should not do the same because it's creating global war. Companies and people from the Middle East are coming to Africa to buy land. They're taking 10% of many countries. There's Saudi Arabia that's taking land from Kenya. Yes. There is uh, Emirates that's taking land from Zambia, taking land from Zimbabwe, taking land from many countries, from Liberia. It is going, fellas. 20% of Zimbabwe is going and you, you, you're just busy dancing. It's crazy. Let me know how you feel about this. It's always a great pleasure. God bless.